Hello everybody, my name is Alan from Sauber Lab and today will be another video about backup. If you already follow my channel, you know that I explain different ways that you can backup your system to make sure that all your data is safe. But it's not easy always to do the backup and not easy to manage all this data, principally if you want to keep the rule 3 to 1. And in this video, I'll explain a little bit about how I do the backup, what solution that I think that work, and how I backup more important data and how I backup a little bit less important data in this way, you can have as a benchmark what I do and see if uh, fit for your application. So if you like this idea and want to learn a little bit more about it, we're gonna show in this video, but first of all, don't forget to leave your like, consider subscribe for the channel if you're not subscribed, and let's understand a little bit more about it. As I told, manage your backup is not something that it's apply for everyone in the same way. Ideal, you would like to have all your data copied three times to follow that three to one rule, but not necessarily that it's possible to do it. Why? Because if you have less important data, you're not gonna need to make three copies of the same data. Suppose that you have some programs that you download for the internet, you don't want to have three copies of this because we all use the space and you don't uh, gonna use it or you can recover it quite simple. But have some information that's quite important and you don't want to lose those informations. And in this case, I will explain how I do my backup principally for my critical information. So if you guys come here my screen, hit the hyper backup from Synology NAS. And I use it because pretty much all my data that I have, it's my Synology NAS and that uh, this is my main server that run 20 by 7 and always own for quick access for use for anything that I want. And that this system, if you look, I do a rsync backup in my beta server. And my beta server, it's my OpenMediaVal. And here's my OpenMediaVal, what state, how often it's on. If you look, it's not every time on. It's only some specific time of the day that's on. This is because I always set for my server only to turn on on Friday. So if I come here, open and edit this specific information, on Friday, nine hours and 40 minutes, my server will start. And that uh, will give around 20 minutes for everything start, all the services start. And that after this, around 10 o'clock, if you look here, 10 o'clock, my system will start to do backup. And that they will backup all my data to my server. And after it, if I come here in edit, and come here in my schedule, I have uh, for 11 o'clock to check the integrity. Why only one hour to give backup? Because normally I don't copy so much data and in one hour it's more than enough to copy all that extra information that I have. So it's enough for me one hour. I could set a little bit longer, but I didn't need any time to wait until we start to check integrity. Other thing, after they do backup, the integrity take normally a little bit longer, but uh, then I set for my server, turn off around four o'clock. After four o'clock, my server will be off and that only start next Friday. If you look here, here is how many backups that I have. So in this data, I have 1.4 terabytes, then three, around three, and now it's around 3.9. And every week they are doing backup. Here I'm gonna ask why you have only a few days, you don't have any more information about the backup. This is because uh, I have a limit of space. So my backup, arrive over four terabytes. And if I come here, I had before only one storage of uh, four terabytes. Now I add my second storage and this second storage, I create a RAID 1 for be able to have a full size of uh, eight terabytes free for me to upload information. And at the moment I have only three, so I will have quite a lot of space until they fill it. I create only RAID 1 because it's only for few hours that will be on and that uh, I don't need to have extra protection for hard drive fail, consider that those hard drives it's new and only stay one, two hours a day. Of course, they can fail, but the chance to fail, it's a little bit less consider the other one that is stay 20 by seven. Also, other thing that's interesting, it's that uh, all my data, it's have multiple revision for this. So I can choose which revision of data that I have. And you're gonna ask me, Alan, so far you only explained two copies of backup you're gonna have the second server that you do backup? And the answer is no, I don't have the other server that I do backup 
because I didn't feel that I need it. What I do is I have an external hard drive and this external hard drive I make a copy for my data in some set frequency. So if I come here for my data, more important data that I have will be my photos, my drive and my project. So principally my drive, what I do, I have this folder where is my documents and everyone only modify everything inside this document. So once a month I will zip this one, it's around five gigabytes, I'll zip and I will put the date that I have and I will copy from my external hard drive. So every first day of the month I will do it. If it's I'm off, I will get second or third, but that first week of the month I will get zip it and copy from my external hard drive. The pictures I try to do the same, but the size of the picture is quite big, so I create a little bit different method. And if I open this folder, because I don't want to show the others folders, but now I have a folder called 096. And this 096 is period between January to July 2024. And here will have all my photos, all my pictures in that specific period. In the end of the July, I will copy all my data for this external hard drive and create a new folder. Why I did it? because I don't want to make a mistake to overwrite any information or any picture that I have. Sometimes the six month period that I set, it's get around 500 gigabytes. So if I make multiple copies for it, soon I will run out of space. Also, why I use pretty much for all my data this hyper backup. Initially, I was using only external hard drive to copy all my data here to make sure that all the data is there. But the problem that I run, it's uh, Sometimes you would find one file and you're not sure what revision that you want to keep or if you read copied data or not. So every month what I was doing, I was erasing the hard drive and make another copy. And that erasing the hard drive and make another copy was to take a long time and was not ideal. This reason this hyper backup helped me a lot because the only copy the data that's a little bit different and that you're gonna have once a week all the latest information without needing to erase all the data and rewrite again. So it's quite handy for this step. Also, I didn't want to put the second server for backup because I don't believe that I have this need. Maybe in the future I would like to do it, but consider the cost. I consider the how much critical data that I have. I can afford to have a six months period for my pictures and one month period for my documentation. So in this way, I still using the external hard drive. Maybe in the future I'm planning to get a second knowledge or a second computer only to do it, but I don't think that that are the requirement at this stage. Only thing that you need to remember is you need to set up some periods of backup and you need to try to follow it. So in my case, every week I have a backup for my second server and once a month or each six months I have the rest of the date, my third copy. The rest of uh, unnecessary or uncritical data, I still have only two copies because I don't think that's essential for my application and always I can recover it. On the pictures and the documentation that will be a little bit more difficult, but I have always three copies but a little bit large period to have this backup. If I lose, I will lose only a period for one month or if I lose, I will lose only a period of six months. So I can accept this loss but you need to see your case. You can set up backup every day, you can set up backup every hour, but depend how critical it's this data. So this reason that is not a proper rule that you need to do backup every week, but you need to do backup as much as you think that's important. If you have a lot of information change every day, so you need to do backup every day. If you have a lot of information change every month, so you set up for a month, a year, but try to set up properly schedules. In this way, you try to follow it for make sure that you don't forget any step of your protection of the data. And always I say backup, it's the only solution to keep your data safe because one external hard drive can fail, one server can fail, one RAID 5 can fail, and you can lose all your important data, what maybe you cannot recover anymore. And then it's too late for you if you started to be pissed off that you just lose it. So in this way, we arrive at the end of the video. I hope that you guys like this conversation. If you like this video and think that it was interesting, please don't forget to leave a like. Consider subscribing for the channel if you're not subscribed. And see you next time. Bye.